First, we are going to deploy a Kubernetes cluster in one click with the Nutanix platform. So in WordPress UI, I go in the Kubernetes menu and I just have to click on create a Kubernetes cluster. I can deploy it in dev mode without um, resiliency or in production cluster with a multiple control plane. So I can give a name to my cluster, select the version of Kubernetes I want to deploy and click on next. Then I select my network. I can modify all the information about my workers. I can choose what kind of uh, control plane I want with active active or active passive mode, set the IP to connect on my Kubernetes cluster. I can change the characteristics of my master and change the number of machine for the ETCD. Then I can choose my CNI and create a storage class, selecting few information and click on create. As you have seen, it's very simple to deploy a Kubernetes cluster without any knowledge uh, about this technology. So here the new cluster is in the list. I can click on it and check how deployment progress. So it's quite quick because it will take something like 10 minutes to deploy this new cluster. And after 10 minutes, you will see that the cluster is LC. So I, I can click on it and get all the information about my cluster. And now I can click on this button to download the kubeconfig file and manage my cluster. Now we are doing to do GitOps with uh, GitLab. So we connect on our GitLab instance here and we are going to create a new project for this demo. So I create a blank project, a public one, and I create it. Perfect. Now we are going to create a new file to set up the GitOps configuration. So as you can see here, we define in this path the GitOps agent, and then we will give the ID, the namespace where the agent will be deployed, and the file considered by this agent. We commit the changes, and now in infrastructure on Kubernetes cluster, we get the install commands uh, of the agent. I have copied it and now I can go on my shell and execute this command. First, I will show you a, a list of events um, done on my cluster. And now I apply my command. And as you can see, my agent is now deployed in the upper window uh, on my screen. So if we look at this, perfect. Our pod is deployed and everything is OK. Now we can go back on our instance and check if the agent is connected. It's perfect here. We can see some details about it. Like the token, perfect and the activity, good. Now we are going to create an issue, okay? Just to simulate a request from a, a customer or user. The request is create a new NGIX server. I, assign it to a people and now I am creating an answer to this request. So my answer will be to add a new manifest in my um, repository to deploy this Nginx server. So it's very simple. We just have to create a manifest or a directory and put in this directory a YAML manifest to deploy a new deployment in my Kubernetes cluster. As soon as I have applied and commit this new manifest, the GitOps agent will deploy it automatically on my cluster. So here I am merging the repository and you can see that the agent has worked and deployed my new deployment with one pod uh, using or um, servicing Nginx, okay? So if we want to change something, for example, the number of um, pods in my cluster. So I put it here, the number of three instead of one. And you can see that just after the commit, 
the agent will change the configuration and deploy three Nginx pods instead of one. So that is why GitOps is very interesting. You can do everything uh, in um, in a as code mode. Okay. So I can also delete uh, my manifest, and the agent will remove the application from uh, the Kubernetes cluster. So you will have a synchronization between your repository and the cluster. Now we are going to use the Terraform provider on CI/CD pipeline from GitLab to do infrastructure as code on Nutanix. If I look at the VM list on the cluster, I have nothing but a runner VM and a few VM from Nutanix. So I can connect on my gitlab.com um, account and here I have a project, kubecon, perfect. And I will clone this repository on my laptop. My repo is now cloned. I will copy uh, my files into it and I will describe this file later in this video. The files are here, it's okay. So if I go back to my project, here we can look at the settings in the CI CD parameter. If you look at the variables, we can see that I have defined some variables used by my Terraform files later. And we can go back also in runners, and we will see that I have created a runner dedicated to Kubernetes stuff connected to my infrastructure. I go back in my repo on my laptop. Here, my CI CD file uses the variables defined in my GitLab project. And then I will uh, define some stages uh, for my CI CD workflow. And here, I have a root for my Terraform file, this directory, Terraform. And the main file is the backend here. It will help Terraform to communicate with the GitLab instance and store all the state files. The other files are classical Terraform files um, deploying a Kubernetes cluster on my Nutanix cluster and also deploying a VM. Everything is defined in this um, variable files with the name of my uh, Kubernetes cluster, version of Kubernetes, uh, IPs, number of workers. And for my VM, I can use, uh, specify the image, the network, the name of my VM, um, the number of uh, CPU, RAM, and disk size, for example. Okay? So, if I commit and push this code on uh, my project, because of the CI CD YAML file put in the root of my project, it will deploy all the infrastructure I have requested in my Terraform files in uh, my Nutanix cluster. Okay, if I look at the different stages of my CI CD workflow, validation is okay. I can look at the logs of Terraform. So he said it's a success. Perfect. And then I can uh, look at the uh, other stage. Here is telling me that it will create a new uh, Kubernetes cluster on a new VM. I have the Terraform logs directly into uh, my uh, CI CD pipeline on the GitLab instance. So it's very useful. And then I have a last task, task that is manual. I have to confirm the deployment of my infrastructure. I click on the play button and then uh, my Terraform file will be applied on my Nutanix cluster and all the objects I have uh, requested uh, will be created on the cluster. Uh, one Kubernetes cluster on one virtual machine will be deployed. You can see here it's creating right now. So if I look and at my Nutanix um, UI, I can see that a VM is under creation. And here I can see that other VMs are created. And regarding the name, it's the VM from my Kubernetes cluster. Okay, Carbon VMs are a Kubernetes cluster um, on a Nutanix cluster. So 
everything looks good. Here I can see that my VM are here for my Kubernetes cluster and this one is my uh, simple single VM. I have requested through uh, Terraform files in my repository with the uh, 8 gigabyte uh, disk. So if I look at the Kubernetes um, uh, menu on my cluster, I can see that it's creating. And here I have fast forwarded the video because it was a bit long. And it's finished right now. So if I come back uh, to my Kubernetes dashboard on the Nutanix cluster, my Kubernetes cluster is LC, so it's perfect. I have deployed with simple code a Kubernetes cluster. So I can see that my pipeline is successful. Okay, so it's perfect. Everything is fine. Uh, what I can do right now is to modify something in my code. So, for example, if I want to change the number of vCPUs used by my VM from 2 to 4, and I can also change my RAM from 8 gigabytes to 4 gigabytes, for example, and I can also change the number of workers on my Kubernetes cluster from 4 to 3, I will just save the change and commit and synchronize uh, the files with my project, my repo on GitLab. So I put a comment on my commit. I commit, I synchronize the change and automatically the uh, CICD pipeline will be launched on my uh, instance. We can see here it's running, so it's perfect. If I click on it, I will have the different stages of my uh, CICD pipeline. Validation is OK, is building. So if I look at this, Terraform will tell me what are the change and explain me what it will do if I apply this change. So for example, I can see the number of worker change. And here in my VM, I can see that it will change the memory and the number of sockets. As expected. So here I can apply the change and deploy the new change on my cluster. If I look at the logs of this stage from my CICD pipeline, I can see that the Terraform uh, is doing the new uh, change of my infrastructure directly on my Nutanix cluster. So I can look at the change here and my pipeline is okay. So if I go back on my cluster, I can see that my Kubernetes cluster has no three nodes instead of four. Good. And the last thing is my VM. If I look at my VM, the number of vCPU is no four and the memory is no four gigabyte two. So it's clean. Everything has been changed. 